Howard, what are you doing? This is Goodwill. You're stealing from the poor. I am poor. Well, don't be stupid. Use this tag. Cool. All I gotta do is borrow a dollar from Chip. You see him anywhere? Yeah, he's over by the crap. It's all crap. Look at all this crap. Laura, huh? Yeah? Nice one. Hey, Chip, I need a dollar. Well, what about that money you borrowed from your aunt? I blew it all in a car. What? Yeah, it's a nappy new Rambler. I get it out of impound tomorrow. You bought an impounded car? Yeah, the guy didn't want the hassle of getting it out, so he let it go for like 300 bucks. All I gotta do is scrounge up another 30 to get it out. Shrewd. Yeah. Hang on here, I gotta sweet talk this cotton top. Why do I have to pay for your car? Why do you keep your money in your car? In case of emergencies. My mom said that you mm, should always... Never mind, I don't wanna know. Hey man, what's up? Well, here's your 30. Yeah, it's just a float, you know? But think how happy you'll be when I have a car. You won't have to drive me and... I won't have to call attention to how bad you drive. Yeah. Hey, I want my soul coffee and CD that I lent you. Oh, it's horrible. It sucks to Acetopolis. If Acetopolis is the city of quality music... They'd ban it. Hey, Howard. Hey. You know everybody. Oh, everybody. I know that girl. Hey, what's up? Hey, man. See? I don't know that guy, and he lives in my building. You should be glad you don't know that guy. Saw him coming out of the plasma bank and go straight to a bar. The guy's giving blood for beer money. So you sell CDs for food? Eh, trading soul coughing for a chicken sandwich isn't the same as selling human blood for a buzz. So you, you sold my soul coughing? No, I, I lent it out for cash. Barely got three bucks for it. You know, if I lend you something, you should have the common courtesy to lend Ooh. it back. Where does the any movie theater say you Jeff, you work at the Village, enjoy their courtesy employee tickets? Guy I know back east did it, wound up saving like 14 grand. Howard, you're here tonight. Where's Laura? No idea. What do you got in there, a body? Yeah, I'm gonna wash a body. Hey, are my brown pants in my pile at your house? Uh, I haven't been keeping track of your various piles. See, I was at Mike's for five days, and I went to Archie's for two. I was at Daz's, I had that fire. Oh, I'll just wear these blue ones. I'm meeting that McBubbly Mandy tomorrow. Hey, I was first. I got a date. These kids need a bath. Hey, what's up, man? You could do better than Mark. I'm not doing anything with Mark. Those glasses make his cheeks puff out. Could you pass the hot sauce? Sure, here you go. Look, he asked me to go to Staghorn tomorrow night. I want you guys to come. Ooh, that's not the best band in the world. Yeah, I'm gonna be busy with McBubbly and my new Rambler. Why do you need a chaperone? I don't. I just don't want it to be just me and him. Why don't you tell me you got that boyfriend in Prague? You can't go. You have a boyfriend? No. Yes. In Prague? Yeah. And you told Howard and not me? He knows Jay from before, all right? It's no big deal. Come with me tomorrow night. I think it's strange that you have a secret boyfriend in Prague. You're strange. You're both strangies. Uh, can I get the hot sauce? Sure, let me get that for you. Hey, could you give me a ride to McBubbly tomorrow? I don't know. Will you go to Staghorn? I don't know. Will you ride me to McBubbly? I don't know. Will you pass the hot sauce? Howard, where are we going? Keep going, keep going. A little further. How far? Uh, right over here is fine. It is amazing you find girls who believe you live here. Makes a good impression. Then they don't mind when I take them on a cheap date. They think I'm being cool and hip instead of lame and broke. You've got a cheap date plan for Mandy? She comes from big oil money. These country club guys take her to fancy restaurants. I'm going to take her to the impound lot. She's going to love it. She's a lucky, lucky girl. She is. I get the car, she shares in the excitement, then we ride that momentum into our next activity. Very romantic. So you're coming tonight, right? I don't know. Cheeky, staghorn poses an interesting dilemma. I'll think about it. I'll take that as a yes. Don't peek. I see. Come on, come on. Don't peek yet. Mm. We're almost there. <laughs> okay. Right. Ta-da. Wow! Yeah, it's an impound lot. It's it's like a it's like a jail for cars. Yeah, that's my <laughs> Rambler. She is beautiful. Uh huh. And today my baby's breaking out of the big house. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Can I help you, folks? Yeah, that's my car. Well, that's a classic. Yes, mm -hmm. I'll be taking it off your hands today. I get your thirty bucks right here. No, 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 thirty dollars. I can't take a leak on that car for less than ninety dollars today. Ninety? That guy I bought it from told me it's thirty to get it out. Well, that guy's obviously a dumbass. 
It was $30 two days ago. Yesterday was 60. Today now it's 90. Tomorrow it's going to be $30 more. Just to get the car out from behind that fence? That's right. So unless you got my $90, you just need to get on out of here because you're starting to scare my dog. Now get. Uh, good idea, Mark. This is a lot of fun. Hey, Mandy. Incoming. Oh, Howie, you hope cap. <laughs> just what I always wanted. You're a cat. No, 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 put this stuff in your trunk. <laughs> the object of the game is be quiet, don't get caught. Oh, Howie, don't you like it here? Yeah. Do you think it's dangerous? Yes, it's yes, sexy? yeah. Do you want to go to the pawn shop? Yes. Then behave. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. Uh, I guess it's worth it. Any All right. No, no returns. Enjoy it, sir. Thank you. Hola, hey, Mike. Howie. What's up? How How's you doing? How's it going? All right. What's going on here? Nothing. You need a radio? Yeah, let's see what you got here. Nah, won't work. All right. Ah, cool CDs. Yeah, that's my music department. Hey, this looks like that CD I lent you. No, man, I got that back to you like two weeks ago, isn't it? Nah, nah, right there. That's that special scratch I put on all my CDs. Smart move. <laughs> all right, I'll copy that. You see anything else you like? Uh, how much for the hubcaps? For you, five bucks a piece. Twenty for four. Deal. Let's go play some Mortal Kombat. Nah, man, I'm on a date. Nice. Mm. Four hubcaps to go. Get them out of here. Thanks, Hallie. Adios. Right. Right. Hey, what else, Slick? So the Rambler Man returns. Mm -hmm. I got your money, all a hundred bucks. Hold it right there, boy. You trying to pull one over on me? It's 120. It's not a hundred. For that kind of money, I could have parked the car at Caesar's Palace. Don't sass me, boy. You know, you should be cleaning my seats and putting little mints on my dashboard. For $100, I would have cut that thing in half and sell it for scrap. Mm. Now, I'm going to be here for two more hours. I'll tell you, that's how much time you got to give mm. me my money. Or I'm going to start chopping that thing down piece by piece. Don't touch that char iron head. I got an idea. Howard, I feel dizzy. Oh, that's just a common side effect to giving blood. Well, I thought we were both going to do it. I tried. I really did. I just couldn't take those needles. Besides, once you gave your blood, we already had enough money to get the car out. Are you okay? I have to sit down. Okay, just rest here for a minute. Do you want that cookie? Thanks. Hey, Meatloaf, I got your damn money. Check it out. Oh. Listen to that. It's loud. Man. Check out this dash. It's like a rocket ship. Yeah, kind of like Sputnik. I can't believe you sold Mandy's blood for this car. The windows don't even work. It's great, huh? Hey, look, your car is molding. It's awesome. It's a classic. Now what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Could you drop me off at Record Land? No errands. Just leisure miles. from these guys, you Chip and Howard. No, these DJs. I'm doing an article on them. And it's been so fun, because they're all so funny. Hey, is this the two Larrys? I hate those guys. Yeah, uh, Marty. He's a huge fan of the Larry and Larry show. <laughs> Could you put it on 105? 
You, Jeff Chip, got me fired from the movie theater. You get nothing. You tell him, Chloe. Hey, Chloe, could you put on 105? All right. All right. You think she'll ever forgive me? You got her fired from the easiest job in the world. Now she's got to work at this sweatshop. She'll forgive you like that. What do you think, Laura? Uh, no. Enough about the Chloe. Look at this. Hey, everybody. Howard's got chocolate. It's black gold. I'm going to make a killing with this. I'm really sure what it all means. Yeah, I'm sure it will make sense. Yeah. I like it, Chipper, yeah. but I'm going to have to fire you. For one thing, I don't believe you're so bad. For another, I haven't even seen your cool Rambler yet. It's a 68, right? Straight six with three on the tree. Really, whatever. I, I never met anyone so obsessed with Ramblers before. Hey, okay, some people like GTOs, some like bets, but I'm a Rambler girl. Lucky me. Promise you'll call me? Look, I got a... a Promise? Promise. Swear. Swear. Bye. Chipper monkey, what you got? Hey, was that Clingy girl? Yeah, she's a tricky one. Spice girls, explain. What do they get such a bad rap? For making classic pop songs that are gonna last? I mean, if that's a crime. An explanation yeah. denied. So when do you get off work? Two seconds ago, they just fired me. Ryan fired you? Yeah, I can't believe it myself. It took him like half an hour to get up the nerve. You know, I really liked it here. But who wouldn't? It's like the holy grail of non-jobs. I'll never get work at Capitol Records or Geffen Records. Yeah, like standing around in a vest restocking the Bjork section was going to get you a job at a major record label. Dude, am I wearing a vest? You don't see Look, a vest. simmer down, all right? Ryan did you a favor. I'm going to let you work with me for a while. If you do a good job, I'll send a recommendation letter to Def Jam, all right? Let's go. It's a club on the, going two feet away. Well, it's always the neighborhoods that you least expect. Uh, uh, I don't get it. You don't have to. Just leave it up to me. I'll climb in. What? In, I say. In. It's like throwing away gold. Yeah, well, this gold smells skanky. It's not from the candy. That stuff's factory sealed in some kind of vacuum pack. Oh, what, what? is this? Where do they step in? Come on, what? stay focused. Why do I have to do the dirty work? You didn't hesitate to jump in there. Never seen such speed. It's like a gazelle. Yeah, I guess I didn't think it through. Come on, combat conditions. Double time it. We gotta get these troops in the shade before they get soft on us. Two bucks a pop, three for five. Take a half dozen boxes down to the drag. Sell them to those skateboard and drag worms. They live on sugar. Every ten board tricks, they need a bump. What's this? What? They're eating the profits. It makes me happy. That's so weird about you. You don't drink, you don't smoke, you don't do drugs. You're candies, bitch. This tastes pretty good for a six-month-old Christmas candy, but it goes down kind of strange. You know, tangy. Maybe it's Belgian. What did I just say? What? Tell me my last sentence. Some... You have, like, a bitch? Some, you gotta be careful. Or you're gonna lose two jobs in one day. It's harsh. Tough love ain't sugar-coated, mommy. <laughs> I'll start you with this, and then if you do good, you'll get some more. If you just get a job, you wouldn't have to work this hard. Don't worry, it sells itself. It's a good thing, too. Brandy's so clingy, she's got me shelling out for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Let the Klingon go. Not that easy. She's too sly for the usual excuses and deflections. <laughs> but you know a good mechanic? Yeah, I know a real good imaginary mechanic for your imaginary car. That girl's obsessed with Ramblers. I told her I'm working on it over at Chips. I gotta have details in case it comes up. Maybe if you tell her you junked the Rambler, then she'll let you break up. I don't want to let it slip out on between cars. That's bad McBubbly business. Right. You never want to be too honest. I lied to get her. I lied to cover it up. Now I'm coming up with new lies to let her down easy. I've got an idea. Just tell her you're a liar. Leaves a bad last impression. Why don't you get Chip to sell this crap? He is. Ever since he got booted at Recordland, Chip's my number two chocolate hawker. So can I be in your band? You're the flyer guy. How would that look? So, I've met a few fathers in my day. It can be done. You don't know my father. Yeah, I do. Big Harry Gibbons, the auto guy. You've seen the commercials? That's his public persona, Howard. He's very... What? He wants to prove of me or some crud? Away. Tell him it's 1997. He's lucky I approve of him. I've given this a lot of thought. 
And I just think it's best if we stop seeing each other. What? No. <laughs> Connie, you're overreacting. This is just a case of you think because I don't have a car or a job or a place to live that your dad will freak, but we won't tell him that stuff and he'll be fine, I swear. It's more complicated than that. I just don't want my daddy to meet you. Connie, you can't break up with me. It's not protocol. I'll always remember you, Howie Wowie. You have to get out there. Where? Do I look like Honey's secretary? Yeah, you do. Is that her office right there? Look, pal, why don't you just come back later? I'm busy. Howard Kramer, Harry Givens. I'm Connie's daddy. I'm just tickled to death to finally make your acquaintance, son. Likewise, sir. Bert, why don't you get your bony little ass out of here and go sell me some cars for a change? He is uh, Connie. The biggest bunch of damn morons I ever saw, especially that boy. Couldn't sell an umbrella in a hurricane. <laughs> Did Connie come in? Hell, I'm hungry, son. You want to go get something to eat? I really just came to see My treat, son. <laughs> Name your poison. She told you? Why, <laughs> there's not many secrets between my con and I. See, she's my only daughter. And I'd cut out my heart and barbecue it and slice it and serve it to her on a silver platter if that's what she wanted. Take it away. I'm done. See, the thing with Connie and me is that I've just been waiting for a girl like that for a long time. You know? She even likes the Wu-Tang Clan.